What's going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to another chemistry lab tutorial. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about a piece of equipment that every chemistry lab should have. Funnels. Now funnels, of course, are used whenever you have a liquid or solution and typically it's in a bigger container and you want to transfer it to a container that has a narrow mouth like an Erlenmeyer flask. So they're pretty much used to prevent spilling. Really useful. Now I don't want to explain in detail how to use a funnel because first of all, it's incredibly easy. And second of all, if you don't know how to use a funnel, you probably shouldn't even be in a chemistry lab. But what I would like to do is talk to you guys about a technique. And I want to mention this because it bothers me a lot. A lot of people do this and uh, well, it's just incorrect. So typically whenever people use funnels like this, here I have a glass funnel in my hand and this is just a cheap uh, disposable plastic funnel. What they do is they usually just stick it inside their container like an Erlenmeyer flask and they start pouring the liquid or solution in. Now, right now, this isn't working too bad, but typically, in a lot of situations, you're going to have a really slow pour or it's not going to be very smooth. And the reason for this is because whenever you're pouring this liquid in, the liquid can enter just fine, but there's no space for air to enter this container. So you're going to have a really slow or not smooth pour. So typically what you want to do is you want to lift up this funnel just a little bit and that allows not only air, but also the liquid to get in the container. Now, whenever you see a funnel like this one right here, and it has ridges on the side, that is what the ridges are for. If this didn't have the ridges, then whenever you put it in a container, it would make a tight air seal, and no air would be allowed to enter the container. So, these funnels are really cool. Again, these, like I said, are my disposable plastic funnels, because you don't even have to hold it they already have the ridges built in to have a little bit of space between the side of your container and the funnel. Really handy. And actually, there are many different types of funnels other than your standard funnels that you're going to find in a chemistry lab. This is one of the coolest looking ones. This is called a Buchner funnel. And if you watch my filtration tutorial, you know what this does. It's basically used whenever you want to filter a mixture like sand and water. Really neat. But basically, I just want to mention that Whenever someone talks about a funnel, they can be talking about a wide variety of different funnels. But for our labs, what you typically need is either a standard glass funnel or a standard plastic funnel. And you can just find these off of Amazon. And I do want to mention, whenever you have a glass funnel like this one, be very careful of how you store it and how you handle it because the stems on these funnels can break off really easy. So, aside from that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.